Uh, hello friends, uh, 2017 batch, the 12th graders. Uh, we are studying uh, the metrics logic, uh, use of matrices. So I'd like to share some information which I usually uh, don't get time to tell you on in the class. Now this is about how to use the metrics logic to solve a typical problem. So assume we have a typical problem and we want to solve this problem. The problem is like this. There are four friends, uh, say her name is Manasi, Amanda, Lata, and Tara. So these are four girls, they are friends, uh, and they have four different pets. Uh, but we don't know who's got what. Uh, the pets are a dog, a cat, a parrot, and a turtle. Dog, cat, parrot and a turtle. We have some information, uh, four pieces of information, four bits of information, and we want to find who owns what using the matrix logic. And that's what I'm going to teach you now. Uh, we know that, say, Lata likes to visit the friend with a turtle. So Lata visits a friend with a turtle. Tara and Amanda help their friend walk their dog, walk her dog. Mansi is allergic to dogs and cats, so she can't own dogs and cats. Tara teaches her pet how to talk. Now these are the four pieces of inform information we have. And using this information, we are going to find out who is owning what. Uh, so we are going to make a grid like this. A matrix grid, just like so. And here I am going to put uh, first, uh, say, Lata. Uh, Tara and Amanda and uh, who else? Mansi. And here I am going to put the uh, pets, dog, the cat, the parrot and the turtle. And we are going to make some small grids like this. So it's like a matrix with rows and columns. Now based on the information, we are going to put dots or crosses. Uh, so this is a 4 by 4 matrix. Now let's put a cross in the first row under the turtle because Lata likes to visit a friend. That means apparently she doesn't own a turtle. So we can put a cross on that. And let's put two crosses to show that Tara and Amanda do not own a dog. So two crosses, cross here, cross here. Okay, so Tara and Amanda do not own a dog. So these two, why because Tara and Amanda Sorry, not here. I'll just tell you. Uh, so these two crosses we are putting. Uh, this is from the second. So the first data is here. The second data is these two crosses we have put. One and two. Now put two crosses to show that Manasi cannot have a cat or a dog. So we are going to put two crosses. One, two crosses. Manasi is allergic to dogs and cats, so she can't have dogs and cats. So cross means that it's not possible. And now Tara, we are going to put, by the process of elimination, we know that this is the only thing we have. A, so Tara owns a dog. Lata owns a dog. We can see that. Uh, now we use the elimination method. So Tara has a parrot so I put a circle in this so if I put one circle I need to cross here and I need to put a cross here uh, every row will have one circle and three crosses so I'm putting a cross here and a cross here now since these two are crossed already let me point it out these two are crossed this way I have to put a circle here now in the parrot, here I have to put a cross because there can be only be one circle. So put a cross here 
a cross here and now there are three crosses here so I have to put a circle here and a cross here so now the matrix is complete and we know now that Manasi owns the parrot uh, sorry uh, Manasi owns the turtle uh, Amanda owns the cat Tara owns the parrot and Latha owns the dog. So this is a method of elimination how we use these four pieces of data in the form of a matrix. I'll go over it slow once again on the next page. So we have four girls Latha, Tara, Amanda, Mansi, and four pets dog, cat, parrot, turtle. Let's start. We're going to put a cross for not owning it and circle for owning it. Now every row will have only one circle and three crosses. That makes sense, correct? Because each person can own only one. So let's start by saying that Latha does not have a turtle. Put a cross here. Now put two crosses to show that Tara and Amanda do not own a dog. Cross, cross. Put two crosses to show that Mansi cannot have a dog or a cat. So Mansi cannot have a dog or a cat. By the process of elimination, uh, we know Lata owns the dog. Now one person we know. Tara owns a parrot, so I'm going to put a circle here. Now this uh, column has already got three X's, so it means I have to put a circle here. And this row, this row has already got a circle here, so I have to put cross, cross here. And this one has already got a circle, so I have to put a cross across across here now since there are three crosses this will get a circle this one this row and this will get a cross here and there are two crosses here uh, this has already got a circle so this will get a cross and finally this will get the last circle final conclusion is Lata owns a dog Tara owns a parrot, Amanda owns a cat, and Mansi owns a turtle. Uh, now imagine we have a small shop, uh, it's a sports shop, and this sports shop is selling bats, balls, shoes, and gloves for two, two different games, baseball and softball. Uh, so it's like this, the data is uh, two-dimensional data. Uh, something like a matrix. So the this is a stock we have or the sales which we are doing per year. Imagine that baseball bats we have 38 in number selling, baseball balls 29, let me point it out, and shoes 18 and baseball gloves 43. Same thing for softball. For softball we have 42 bats, 25 balls, shoes 51 gloves. Now this information can be put in a small matrix just like that. So we have a matrix 38, 29, 18, 43, 42, 25, 16, 51. Now imagine that we want to increase the sales and this month the sales increases by 8%. So if it increases, so this is called as a scalar multiple. I explained the concept of scalar multiple. So all I need to do is multiply this with 1.08. This is a scalar I'm using. Now when I use the factor 1.08, it's like 1 plus 8 by 100. So uh, uh, it becomes 8% increase. So each number gets multiplied with 1.08. So when I multiply this with the calculator, I get 41 
point zero four thirty one point three two nineteen point four four sorry there's no space here so let me erase this part I will put it from the beginning once again so we have when I multiply this with the calculator I have these numbers forty one point zero four thirty one point three two nineteen point four four forty six point four four forty five point three six twenty seven seventeen point two eight fifty five point zero eight uh, so I just wanted to, uh, you to know that maths can be fun. Uh, so don't think uh, in a typical way uh, of uh, what the textbook says. There are a lot of things to learn. And I wanted to enjoy math, have fun with math, and keep watching these videos. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Hi, Roxy. Doing good?